Welcome to the second day of the Novena to celebrate the birthday of our Mother Mary. Theme Mary was blessed. It was God who destined Mary to become the mother of his only begotten son. For this purpose, Mary, from her mother's womb, was preserved from sin in consideration of the merits of her son, Jesus. Scripture proclaims this truth when Elizabeth announces, Blessed are you among women. And again, when Mary herself recognizes, all generations shall call me blessed. The God, which is our common home, is our mother home. As she provides for all our needs, we damage our relationship with our mother when we harm the environment. For our entrance hymn, we shall take hymn number 409. Thy loving kindness is better than life. Thy loving kindness is better than life. Thy loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee, thus will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. The skies are telling the glory of God. The skies are telling the glory of God. My lips shall praise thee, thus will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear children and my dear people, today is the second day of our Novena service in preparation of the feast of the Nativity of our Blessed Virgin Mary. And so as we continue to take part in the Eucharist, let us continue to thank God for the gift of our Blessed Mother to each one of us. Let us now recall to mind our sins and ask the Lord for forgiveness and pardon. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by a watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, 
when I came to you, it was not with any show of oratory or philosophy, but simply to tell you what God has guaranteed. During my stay with you, the only knowledge I claimed to have was about Jesus and only about him as the crucified Christ. Far from relying on any power of my own, I came among you in great fear and trembling and in my speeches and the sermons that I gave, there were none of the arguments that belonged to philosophy, only a demonstration of the power of the Spirit. And I did this so that your faith should not depend on human philosophy, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Our response is, Lord, how I love your law. Lord, how I love your law. Please repeat. Lord, how I love your law. Lord, how I love your law. It is ever in my mind. Your command makes me wiser than my foes, for it is mine forever. Our response, Lord, how I love your law. I have more insight than all who teach me, for I ponder your will. I have more understanding than the old, for I keep your precepts. Our response, Lord, how I love your law. Please stand for the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day as he usually did. He stood up to read, and they handed him the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. Unrolling the scroll, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord has been given to me, for he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring the good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives, and to the blind new sight, to set the downtrodden free, to proclaim the Lord's year of favor. He then rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the assistant, and sat down. And all eyes in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to speak to them. This text has been fulfilled today, even as you listen. And he won the approval of all. And they were astonished by the gracious words that came from his lips. They said, This is Joseph's son, surely. But he replied, No doubt you will quote me the saying, Physician, heal yourself. And tell me, 
we have heard all that happened in Kapernaum. Do the same here in your own countryside. And he went on. I tell you solemnly, no prophet is ever accepted in his own country. There were many widows in Israel, I can assure you, in Elijah's day, when heaven remained shut for three years and six months, and a great famine raged through the land. But Elijah was not sent to any one of these. He was sent to a widow at Zarephath, a Sidonian town. And in the prophet Elisha's time, there were many lepers in Israel, but none of these was cured except the Syrian Naaman. When they heard this, everyone in the synagogue was enraged. They sprang to their feet and hustled him out of the town. And they took him up to the brow of the hill their own town was built on, intending to throw him down the cliff. But he slipped through the crowd and walked away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear children, today we are celebrating the second day of our Novena service. And do you know what is the theme of today's Novena service? Yes, it is flashed on the screen. The theme of today's Novena service is Mary Most Blessed. I'm sure yesterday, after listening to Father Jyoti's homily, you must have gained some insights. And today during this homily, we shall reflect on this theme. Why Mary is considered blessed or why she is the most blessed person in this universe. When do we consider ourselves blessed? When do we consider ourselves privileged or highly honored? I'm sure all of you know that we consider ourselves really blessed or privileged or honored when we least expect something in our lives to happen and then it really happens. That is the moment we consider ourselves blessed. For example, I remember when I was in school, in primary school, we had our annual day celebration. And I and some of my friends in the village were playing that day, that evening at about 4 o'clock. And 6 o'clock was this annual day. And some of my friends told me, let's go for this annual day celebration. And I told them, no, I'm not coming because I have not won any prize in the sports events. Whereas my friends had won, won a number of prizes. And so they were obviously interested in going for this annual day. But then they told me, come on, come on, let's go together. So I went. And then as I was sitting there watching this annual day with different cultural programs and which was interspersed with different cultural items and also watching the prize distribution cer ceremony, I was waiting for it to end, though it was interesting. And then at the end, there was the last prize announced, the prize for the best student of the year. And to my amazement, my name was announced in that out of the, out of the blue. And I really did not know how that prize came my way. And that is the day I still cannot forget. There were a number of other people who congratulated me, they congratulated my parents for having won this prize, which was really unexpected and which I never dreamt of. Similarly, my dear children, my dear people, 
in the old testament there are a few women who would consider themselves blessed because these women had crossed the age of motherhood and there were others who were barren for a long long time and still they became mothers later and that is why they would consider themselves blessed do you remember which are those women in the holy bible in the old testament as well as new who became mothers after a long long time yes i am sure you remember for example the first one is sarah the wife of abraham and the mother of isaac then we have the unknown mother of samson the famous story of samson and delilah then we also have hannah the mother of samuel prophet samuel and then in the new testament we have elizabeth the mother of john the baptist they received something from god this gift of a child at a time when they least expected and so i am sure they consider themselves highly blessed but let's look at our blessed virgin mary these women which i mentioned they became the mothers of either a patriarch or either a prophet or either a judge or either a messenger but let's look at, at our blessed virgin mary during the time of our blessed virgin mary many prophets had foretold the birth of jesus the birth of the messiah and because this prophecy was foretold by the great prophets all the women in israel were looking forward to become the mother of the messiah to become the mother of jesus and one of the bishops the venerable bishop archbishop fulton sheen tells us in one of his books that since all women were looking forward to be the mother of jesus mary had given up the hope of being the mother of jesus and when she had given up this hope we are told that god selected mary god chose mary to be the mother of jesus and mary was the one who least expected that to happen and it happened to her she not only became the mother of jesus she became the mother of god she became the bearer of god that is why she is considered the ark of the new covenant and that is the most important reason why mary is considered blessed though all women were looking forward to be the mother of jesus mary was chosen to be the mother of jesus to be the mother of the messiah to be the mother of the savior to be the mother of god so mary unlike women in the past not only became the mother of a patriarch or a prophet or a judge or even a messenger she became the mother of the messiah the savior of the world and that is why we have all the more reason to say that she is highly blessed what about each one of us my dear children do we consider ourselves blessed like a blessed virgin mary there are number of things why we should consider ourselves blessed because we are also reflecting on this theme of creation and therefore we must consider ourselves blessed because this creation gives us so many things that science cannot give us for example the gift of fresh air that we are breathing or for example the gift of water 
or for the for example the gift of this panora panoramic view of creation then the gift of looking at the pleasant things in creation nature and so many other beautiful things which science cannot give us and so we are we should really consider ourselves blessed and besides creation god has also given us so many other gifts the gifts of our parents the gifts of our siblings the gift of education the gift of basic needs day to day basic needs there are many who don't have these and there are many others who are deprived of these gifts but we are privileged we are honored and we are really blessed to have these and therefore it is a bounden duty to thank god for these gifts because that that all this these gifts remind us that we are truly blessed let's now close our eyes for a while and thank god sincerely for the gift of jesus for the gift of our blessed mother for the gift of creation for the gift of our parents for the gift of our brothers and sisters for the gift of our basic needs for the gift of education because all these gifts remind us that we are highly blessed like men we shall now have the prayer of the faithful heavenly father help us to live by the teachings of your son jesus christ and grant our humble petitions our response of every prayer will be lord hear our prayer together lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer for our pope bishops priest and religious that through the intercession of our blessed mother they may strive to be models of holiness to the flock entrusted to their care we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for leaders across the world that they may work towards environmentally friendly projects keeping aside their selfish and political interests we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for our small christian communities that we may strive towards mary's purity of heart and thereby bring about purity in our daily living we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for all of us especially children that we may be given wisdom to distinguish between our needs and our wants so that we may do our part in restoring purity in creation we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for our personal needs and the needs of our community we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer heavenly father we thank you for the gift of your son jesus who calls us to be his disciples grant us the grace that we too may contribute towards the building of your kingdom we make this prayer to christ our lord amen as you offer the gifts of bread and wine we shall offer to the lord our intentions and our prayers and all those who have asked us to pray for them
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty. Father, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always this blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for although you have no need of our praise yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company of the cause of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in God. the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior, Savior of, of the world, world for, for by your cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Let us pause for a while and pray for the deceased members in our family, in our neighborhood, in our parish community.
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us prepare our mind and our heart and our entire being to receive Jesus spiritually into our hearts. Together we say, My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For our communion, we shall take hymn number 295. 200 and 95 O oh, let the Son of God enfold you O oh, let the Son of God enfold you with his spirit and his love 
Let him fill your heart and satisfy your soul. Oh, let him have the things that hold you and his spirit like a dove will descend upon your life and make you whole. Jesus, we thank you for your word of truth. Jesus, we thank you for the bread of life. Oh, come and sing this song with gladness as your hearts are filled with joy. Lift your hands in brave surrender to his name. Oh, give him all your tears and sadness. Give him all your years of pain. And you'll enter into life in Jesus' name. Jesus, we thank you for your word of truth. Jesus, we thank you for the bread of life, for the bread of life. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall all recite the prayer together. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they may take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We shall now recite the Novena prayer. Navina prayer in honor of the nativity of Mary, our mother. O Blessed Virgin Mary, our dear mother, we rejoice at God's special favor bestowed on you in choosing you to be the mother of his divine son. With deep faith, you willingly said yes to the angel Gabriel and brought forth Jesus, our Savior, into the world. With extraordinary care, courage, and commitment, you lived up to your responsibilities as a devoted mother and a worthy handmaid of the Lord. 
Oh dear mother, we rejoice as we look forward to the celebration of your birthday. What better gift can we offer you, oh Mary, on this your most auspicious day than by wholeheartedly living as you lived in total devotion to Jesus your son. May we ever keep him at the center of our lives, the source of inspiration for the members of our families and our neighborhood communities. Help us, O oh Mary, to live Christ-centered lives ever at the service of the poor and the marginalized. Thus, may our lives truly manifest the love of God our Father as we strive through the power of the Holy Spirit to bear witness to his kingdom in our midst. Amen. For our recessional hymn, we shall take hymn number 157, Hail Mary, Full of Grace. Hail Mary, full of grace, and mother of our God. Oh, pray for us, poor sinners. Hail Mary, full of grace. You heard the word of God and kept it in your heart. O oh, blessed among all women, O oh, Mary, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, and mother of our God. O oh, pray for us, poor sinners. Hail Mary, full of grace. You magnify the Lord and praise His holy name. O oh, blessed among all women, O oh, Mary, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace and mother of our God. Oh, pray for us, poor sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 